Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on this channel and in this video I'm going to show you what is new in the new update 0.30 which has been released today and we're going to have a look especially at the technic side the modding side and there's one thing in particular that is pretty important to us so yeah, let's get right into it. I'm just going to show you the the news. And there we have it. It's a Blender plugin for a JBeam editor. Um, you can see how you have Blender open. Um, you just, to get the plugin, for the JBeam editor, you probably might know um, an older plugin for Blender that was a little similar, where you could export your um, 3D mesh as a JBeam. Um, but this is um, a lot better, and it's also for newer versions. I think the old plugin only was for version zero um, 2.79. So, yeah, you just go to this page on GitHub, and um, it's also explained how you install it. And then you just go ahead, click that, then you're going to be redirected to res. Oh, there you go. I, I already wanted to warn you about this that there can be a lot of lag when you have um, the plugin enabled with um okay on um yeah with all the big meshes but as I, I, you can see they they fixed it click that it's going to download it and let's go into blender go edit preferences i'm going to uninstall the old one That's the new one. 0 0.11. There we go. Just take this box to enable it. And then we've got a new tab on the side called JBeam. And now we can uh, import or export JBeams. Um, yeah, I'm just going to import one. Let's see, Canada. And then you can choose what parts you want to import. Well, so you want here. And there you have it. Now, uh, it also makes a new um, collection, which is kind of nice. And there you go. The edges in Blender are the beams, the vertices are the nodes, and the faces are the collision triangles. Ooh. Yeah, this is honestly pretty amazing because it lets you, first of all, build a structure more easily. Because usually, obviously, if you want to build a structure, it be um, yeah with your um, editor, or text editor, or whatever you're using. It's kind of first of all boring, and you all always have to double check if um, what you're doing is is accurate and with this plugin you can just first of all see your structure in 3d um, while changing it and you can obviously compare it to what kind of 3d model you have to see how accurate that is to each other so yeah it's a, a pretty big deal in my opinion what you can do is change, um, yeah, just pr uh, any property uh, of anything. Actually, you can only change the name. That's the only thing you can change. You can only change the name. You can't change any any other values in here. So it's purely for making creating structures. And then afterwards, after you export them, you will 
yeah, have to add all the different properties. I'm just gonna go ahead. So we've got a cube here. Need only the faces, and I'm going to export this. And oh, we have to convert it to JBM Nash, right? And automatically makes node names. And let's yeah, I'm gonna write that. I don't actually need that. And okay, there you go. That's that's all it generates. And it actually didn't. It wait, it didn't generate the beams. That that honestly is pretty weird, since I mean, yeah, you can see when it's imported, but not when it's exported. Um, yeah, exactly. It doesn't export the the beams, except. If you already have imported it with beams, you import it with beams and then you export it again, then I believe it also exports the um, beams, which is interesting to say the least. But I guess that's just either my fault or not knowing how to probably use this tool. I mean, it should say right here, shouldn't it? Okay, apparently it actually just doesn't export beams. So what I just told you at the beginning was an absolute lie. Which, uh, yeah, again, it's pretty, pretty interesting as to why that is the case, which again, probably makes it worse than the original. Um, plugin for the old blender version because that actually did export your um, edges at, as beams. So yeah, that's that's uh, pretty interesting. Although again, it might be my fault. Um, yeah, but it's it's better than the node beam editor though. Um, for example, in my case with the the Canada. It was impossible to, yeah, move the camera and to get a view to the front, and yeah, the Blender like viewport is just better. So, making it the Blender add-on is, I think, yeah, make makes sense that it is a Blender add-on. I think it's still a great help, even though yeah, again, I find that weird that they don't have it with the beams. That's the news for this update in terms of modding. Yeah, like the video if you liked the video. <laughs> Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to not miss any future videos. And thank you guys for watching. I see you guys again in the next video.